The Theory of Political Economy by William Stanley Jevons Chapter 4 Theory of Exchange Part 5 Dimension of Value There is no difficulty in seeing that, when we use the word value in the sense of ratio of exchange, its dimension will be simply zero. Value will be expressed like angular magnitude and other ratios in general by abstract number. Angular magnitude is measured by the ratio of a line to a line the ratio of the arc subtended by the angle to the radius of the circle. So value in this sense is a ratio of the quantity of one commodity to the quantity of some other commodity exchanged for it. If we compare the commodities simply as physical quantities, we have the dimensions m divided by m, or mm to the power of negative 1, or m0. Exactly the same result would be obtained if instead of taking the mere physical quantities, we were to compare their utilities, for we should then have mu divided by mu, or m0u0, which, as it really means unity, is identical in meaning with m0. When we use the word value in the sense of esteem or urgency of desire, the feeling with which Oliver Twist must have regarded a few more mouthfuls when he asked for more, the meaning of the word as already explained is identical with degree of utility of which the dimension is u. Lastly, the value in use of Adam Smith, or the total utility, is the integral of u dm, and has the dimensions of mu. We may thus tabulate our results concerning the ambiguous use of the word value. The popular expression of meaning, value, and use is scientific expression is total utility, and the dimensions would be mu. The popular expression of meaning, esteem, or urgency of desire for more the scientific expression would be final degree of utility, and its dimension would be U. The popular expression of meaning of purchasing power, its scientific expression would be ratio of exchange, and its dimension would be M0.